We're back. We're back with another radiology video. I got my cute little scrubs on from Mandala Scrubs and look at my little MRI badge and look at my x-ray markers, you guys. <gasps> They're beautiful. It just goes with my outfit. And this is like a little MRI machine with eyelashes. We love it. If you don't know, I am graduating in less than one month as a radiologic technologist, a radiographer, x-ray tech, rad tech. There's so many different names for it, but it's all the same thing. So yes, I'm about to be graduating as a radiographer and a lot of people have a lot of questions. A lot of people think the career is just doing x-rays, but that is just one thing you can go into. The beauty about the career is that there's so many different jobs you could get with a radiologic technologist degree. So that's what we're jumping into today because there's so many things you can do with that degree. It's not just one thing. Radiology is a whole, like, it's, it's, it's whole community i guess you could say i'm gonna tell you every, every job you can get as a rad tech not only just taking x-rays but every job you can get and how much they get paid because different jobs you get different pay and higher pay at that also every state is different i'm just going based on what my state pays because california is gonna pay higher than georgia it's just how it is so i'm gonna go based on my state and what my state so let's jump in what you can do with your x-ray tech degree one of the most popular slash what you would think x-rays would be would be diagnostic x-ray this is just your basic x-rays taking pictures of those bones let's say someone breaks their hand and they come in and they need an x-ray of their hand this is just your basic diagnostic x-rays this is what i do in clinicals for two years so i have a lot of experience in this so diagnostic x-rays when you think of an x-ray you think of this job you're just kind of taking radiographs of the bones and extremities and all of that but this is also the least paying modality diagnostic x-ray in my state starts at about 50k annually give or take i'm gonna insert like all the facts here but diagnostic x-ray is the least amount of pay but it's your basic x-rays it's what you think of whenever you need to go get an x-ray that's what that job is taking radiographs of those bones fractures um fluoroscopy is also included in that if you work in the hospital so that's basically live x-rays so someone will be eating something and they'll be taking a live x-ray and you have to give them barium and stuff and you see it go through the body so that's also included in diagnostic the next job you can get as an x-ray tech is computed tomography which is ct so this is basically a big machine and you go into the machine and you take cross-sectional images of the body so this shows the inside of the body as well but it's kind of like if i cut my body into slices you see the slices on the machine and i know that sounds crazy but you're literally seeing cross-sectional images of someone's body it's not just viewing a bone if that makes sense ct makes about two or three more dollars hourly more than diagnostic in my state so i'd probably say it's about 10k more annually so you'd probably be hitting about 55 to 60k in my state give or take every state is different okay but ct you get paid a little bit more because you have to cross train and also you do have to take a registry with the state but ct does pay higher the next job you can get with your x-ray degree is something called mri that is what i am going into peep it mri tech yeah that's me mri is something called magnetic resonance imaging this is also going into one of those big machines and taking cross-sectional imaging of the body MRI uses, it's kind of like a big magnet, if that makes sense. And CT is using x-ray, but MRI is using a giant magnet to view the inside of the body, but it does the same thing, cross-sectional imaging and sees the inside of the body. MRI is one of the most paying modalities and my state, I think that's probably five more dollars than CT, give or take, but annually I'd say it's about 70K yearly just starting out because MRI uses a lot of physics and you do have to take a state with a state, a state within the test, a test within the state. MRI is very different from all the other radiology aspects because you're not using 
x-rays you are using magnets mri includes a lot of physics i think it's a very very hard modality it's a whole new ball game and it's very hard but i'm so into physics i don't know i don't know i used to not be good at it but in x-ray school i was eating the physics down another job you can get with your x-ray degree is the operating room so when i say operating room i mean the surgery room when you ever whenever you hear like someone going into surgery for their foot for their hand for their back 90 percent of the time an x-ray tech is in there taking images because the doctor needs to know where to put the screw and all of that good stuff you need the before images you need the after images so you can work in the surgery room slash operating room if you're into that and it's pretty cool it's not for everybody it's very gory you see things that you would probably never think you would see in your life it is crazy it is hectic but or you can get a job in the or and they pay pretty good i they do pay more than diagnostic x-ray i'd say about annually in my state you're making about like 65 so yes you can work in an operating room as an x-ray tech because 90 percent of the time x-ray techs are in there for surgery another job you can get as an x-ray tech is working in the cath lab whenever you go into the cath lab this is basically when people go into an emergency surgery getting operated on their heart that is a very serious job and a very rewarding job so kudos to anyone who does that cath lab is basically cardiologists going in on someone who's having a heart attack or stints in their heart you need an x-ray tech there operating the machine and handing the doctor whatever tools they need so cath lab if you're into that you can get a job in cath lab as so yeah if they're having an emergency surgery need a stint placement whatever the case may be you're operating a big machine while they're working on the heart handing the doctor tools kind of like you're a scrub tech and an x-ray tech all combined in one cath lab makes pretty good money in my state i think they start off about 27 dollars an hour but the way cath lab works is you get called out a lot um because so many people have heart attacks in the world and if someone's having a heart attack you need to be at the hospital so they get called out a lot so that includes time and a half so whenever you get called out you're probably making like 50 something dollars an hour which is really good so you can probably make six figures if you're in the cath lab another job you can get as an x-ray tech is something called travel so you can travel the world and do your job as an x-ray tech so it's basically three month contracts so let's say i have three months in atlanta and then i done that contract and then i have three months in california and then i'm done that contract and then i go to mississippi for three months that's how it goes so basically you're traveling state to state but you are getting paid money you travel to different hospitals around the world wherever you, you sign up with like an agency if that makes sense and it's like three month contracts at different hospitals around the world i've seen people go to hawaii i've seen people go to atlanta i've seen people go to california so you're traveling the world going to different hospitals and you're making over six figures as a travel tech let's say you're doing mri you can do mri as a travel tech and get paid even more so you can do just basic x-ray travel the world or you could do like mri ct cath lab and you can travel the world as a travel tech and get paid even more and travel techs get paid once a, um blah, blah blah what Travel techs get paid instead of every two weeks they get paid every week and what they get in a week is what your basic normal hospital worker will make every two weeks so they get double what you make if you weren't travel it's probably hard traveling from hospital to hospital and you know traveling the world or whatever but at the same time you're only on three month contracts so let's say you don't like a hospital you're not on a two-year contract you're on a three-month contract and then you're going to another state and you won't have to worry about that hospital again so i know Traveling is probably so hard, but if you're single and don't have kids, that's the way you're going to make six figures. You make money traveling and you also get to travel the world and I think it's an amazing opportunity. So yes, you can travel the world doing x-ray. You could travel the world. If you went into MRI, you're still doing MRI, but you're doing it around the world at different hospitals. I think you have to have two years of like experience in general, like 
at a basic hospital and then you can travel it's like one or two years but if you're looking to make money you need to travel another thing is you can travel within your state instead of around the world and you'll still be considered a travel tech as long it's like as long as it's like a certain amount of miles if that makes sense so like if you have a city that's like 30 minutes away from you i think that counts as travel but you have to travel to different cities if that makes sense but yeah i think i knocked most of them out there's probably some more that i didn't mention but I gotta go study, honey. There's just so many different jobs and opportunities and so much pay waiting for you as an x-ray tech. And people think that x-ray is just taking a photo of the bones, but it's so much more into it. And the career itself, you can just go into so many different things. So I feel like it's never boring because there's just so much you can do. And you could just keep extending your education and do so many different things. And I feel like it can never get boring because there's just so much to it. I hope that video helps some of you guys out. I feel like I was everywhere in that video. But like I said, the pay is different for each state. I don't know how it goes for every state. I'm just going based on my state. But it's different for each state. But I do know if you go into a modality, you get paid more. Also, if you work in a hospital and let's say you get $31 an hour. If you work a night shift, you get night differentials. So which means you'll get two more dollars added into that. So you'll be making $33 an hour. Let's say you work a night and it's a weekend, weekend shift and then you get $2 for working the weekend. So then that makes what? $38 an hour, something like that. I don't know. But if you work in a hospital, there's just so much differentials that you can get added onto that pay. And that's the beauty of working in a hospital. The pay is good. I hope that helped you guys out. If you have any questions, comment down below. If I left anything out, comment down below. But yeah, I'm gonna go study. I hope that helped. Okay, I gotta go. Love ya, bye.